Hey guys, so today I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you how to winterize your hose for your RV hookup in the winter time. This is what I found and I'll show you how I'm doing it. So my particular setup here, we're building a house and living in the camper this winter. And you can see right here, excuse all the mess, but my hookup is right under there. My particular thing is about 36 feet. You can see I got a frost free hydrant here. And so I'm gonna show you what I did to run my water from there all the way through the dirt over on the other side of my camper. So this is the water pipe heat tape cable that I've used before. I've had really good luck with it. It's good to minus 40 degrees. For my particular instance, the hose was 36 feet long, so I needed two 18 footers. I'll include a link in the video description below the video where I found this for a really good price, and I'll pass that along to you guys if you wanna check it out below the video. So what I wanna show you here is I have my hose set up. And so let's just show you what I did here. So for my particular instance, this is the end that hooks up to the well over here. I'll clean the dirt out later. It's uh, freshly excavated here, so it's dirty. So then on this end over here, I had to cut it off because I didn't want any excess feet that I didn't have to heat tape. So my hose is about 36 feet long and it was a 50 foot hose, so I cut it off, but I needed to because the end was bad anyways. So my thought was, I'm gonna have the one plug here start on this end, the other plug here starting on this end. Now, I kind of taped this already so it's hard to show, but they have a sensor under here that has to go against the hose to sense the temperature. And it'll kick on when it gets down below 39 and it'll kick off when it gets above 52 degrees. Anyway, so what I did is I just used like this Gorilla duct tape and I taped this every couple feet. I got it nice and stretched out. And then what they say, if you overlap it, like here I overlapped it a little bit, a couple feet, just keep it on opposite sides, you can't make it touch each other. So you have to make sure of that. So I wrapped it really good. And then what I'm doing, here I'll show you, is I'm using this insulation like this, that you can strip over. And I'm just taping it every so far for right now. I just kind of started on this end here. So that foam is just like a three quarter inch foam that I got. I got it in four pack, it was a little cheaper that way. Got it at Home Depot. And then that's what I was stripping over the hose to show you. Then the reason I'm not duct taping it more than every couple feet for now is because I'm gonna wrap it over top of that other foam with this stuff. So this is pipe wrap insulation tape. As you can see, it's like a foil face tape, but it's about an eighth inch thick. So it has some R value to it and it sticks to itself. So I'm gonna wrap that really well on the outside of that yet. All right guys, again, excuse my mess, but I wanted to show you that I did get this hose all wrapped. I'll accept up to the end. I'll finish that once it's hooked up. You can see my nice hose laying out through here. I got it wrapped pretty well. It stayed pretty well. I put duct tape in one spot there, but it stayed pretty well overall, but I decided I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna put this bubble foam wrap on it yet. This particular one is two foot tall, so I'm just gonna cut strips big enough to wrap around. And then I got some of this foil tape right here that I'm gonna put on it. It's good for being out in the weather and everything. All weather durable bond it says. So I'll show you that once I have that. So like I mentioned, I'm wrapping this heat tape with this foam right here. It's blowing away in the wind here. But uh, I just cut little strips like that and wrap it around and tape the joints like that and it's working really well. All right guys, so I wanted to show you my final setup under here. This is on the camper end. You can see the hose comes up from underneath there. And it's really tight in the hole there, but that's nice because I don't have to worry about mice then. And you can see it running over to the well over there. I'll show you the other side there. But then I had a plug-in right there, so it's handy. And you can see that this lights up when it's plugged in, so that shows you that it's got power. So then on this side over here, I tried to keep my hose as short as I could but that's the closest that I can park to the well. So it goes right up here. And for right now, just temporarily, I have a cord here. I'm gonna figure out how to waterproof that so I can plug that in. But as you can see there again, it's got power. And then I'm gonna wrap this better too so that this whole hydrant doesn't freeze. But for right now, that's the setup. So I wanna show you that and um, Hope this video was helpful to you. 
And like I said, anything that I think might be helpful to you, like where I got those heat cables and all that, I'll include a link in the video description below the video. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys.